A top-ranked college tennis player suing the NCAA in a fight to change prize money rules. We are explaining the lawsuit and asking the question, should college tennis players be allowed to accept prize money in pro events? Plus, we are previewing the Wednesday night matches at the Miami Open. The break, it starts right now. What's up everyone, Aaron Coscarelli here, you are watching The Break. Now, the NCAA, quote, name, image, and likeness rule, or NIL, allows college athletes to profit from appearances, autographs, endorsements, and anything that falls under what's known as the right of publicity. Now, the rule was introduced in 2021, and it lets college athletes like Bronny James and Olivia Dunn make up to seven figures in endorsement deals while still remaining eligible to compete in NCAA competitions. However, in 2021, when top-ranked junior tennis player Reese Brantmeyer made the final round of qualifying at the US Open, she could not accept the $49,000 in prize money. If she had, she would lose NCAA eligibility and college scholarships would be off the table. So why could Olivia Dunn make millions from social media ads, but Reese Brantmeyer couldn't collect 49,000 in prize money she earned at a tournament? That question led her to file a lawsuit against the NCAA on Monday. Now the lawsuit seeks to quote, strike such anti-competitive rules and bylaws of the NCAA that prevent athletes from retaining compensation earned from their athletic performance outside of NCAA competition without jeopardizing their NCAA eligibility. Get that? Basically, that means let college athletes accept prize money. The lawsuit explains that given the billions of dollars earned by college sports and the seven-figure salaries earned by administration, regulations on athlete earnings are unfair. The name, image, and likeness rule is also heavily referenced in the lawsuit. Tens of millions of dollars flow to college athletes through NIL, but some say NIL opportunities vary depending on the school, resulting in a flawed system. Reese Brantmeyer's lawsuit seeks to lift the veil of hypocrisy and allow college tennis players to receive prize money earned based on their sheer athletic performance in non-NCAA tournaments. So what do you think? Should NCAA athletes remain eligible even after accepting prize money in non-NCAA tournaments? Or do you think this will destroy the NCAA's concept of amateurism in college sports? You should let us know. Wednesday in Miami means both the ATP and WTA main draws are officially underway. Here are the matches on the sketch for tonight. All right, Naomi Osaka returns to the Miami Open for the first time since making the final in 2022. She will be facing Elisabetta Cochiaretto at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Following that match, American upstart Alex Michelson taking on Lucas Klein of Slovakia. 19-year-old Michelson is one of the fastest rising players in the ATP rankings. One year ago, Alex was outside the top 300. Today, he is sitting at 73. We've got live daily action from the Miami Open beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Tennis Channel. We will see you tomorrow.